Hi everybody, I hope you had a great spring break. Today we're gonna do a 3D drawing challenge with a whole lot of shading. So you'll need a white piece of paper and a pencil. We're gonna focus on making the three dimensional shape of a cylinder today by creating kind of a coral reef with these shapes. Um, lots and lots of shading with the pencil. So you need a well sharpened pencil that you can put on its side as you are drawing. Okay, okay so the first thing that we're going to do is draw some cylinders that are curved. So I'm going to start with just the outside edge of those cylinders and I'm just going to come in with some lines that wiggle a little bit. And once I have the lines done, I'm going to come right up towards the top and add an ellipse. And an ellipse is just a squished oval. And I'm going to add this on each of these lines and then I'll draw the other side of it. So I'm going to come in, sometimes I'm going to make it a little bit thinner, and sometimes it could stay the same width all the way down. It's up to you how you wanna draw them. I'm gonna add a few more, um, just so that I can do some overlapping. This time I'm starting with the ellipse and then adding the sides of the cylinder. If you have an overlap, just erase where your overlap occurs. This time I'm gonna put one behind. This just helps our drawing get a little bit of sense of depth. Um, now that I have those pieces of coral done, I'm going to add some different types of coral down here on the ocean floor. So maybe I'll do some brain coral here. I could even do some rocks. So just draw a few different organic lumpy shapes. And I'm going to put a line at the back so that we know where the sand is versus the water. Um, once I have that done, I'm going to start adding a few different sea creatures in. So I'm gonna start with the jellyfish. I do that same ellipse again. I come up and around for the top. And as I wiggle down, I'm gonna put some of those lines on the back of the ellipse and some on the front so that we get a little bit more of a 3D effect. Um, I'm also going to add maybe just a fish right over here with some very big eyes and a very big mouth and a top fin and some side fins as well. And I'll come back and add a little more detail there later on. I'm gonna wiggle up with a few pieces of seaweed and I'll do some more on this side too. And think of other stuff that you can add to really just make it look like different types of things are growing by the coral. Okay, I'm going to um, start to add detail and then I'll come back and talk to you again before we do shading. Okay, so you can see I added a few more details. I added a shark, I added an eel coming out of the coral. Um, I added a few more pieces of coral, a sea anemone. Um, I just forgot to finish this little guy right here. Um, I also added some details, some like funny cartoon details to the fish and the jellyfish, the brain coral. So you can go in and add whatever you'd like, a treasure chest, maybe a scuba diver. Um, feel free to use your imagination. I'm going to shade now. So I'm going to just use my pencil to create highlights and shadows and color changes just with a pencil. So I'm going to fast forward and then we'll talk when I'm done shading. Okay, so you can see I did add a few more details and I also um, shaded a, quite a bit more. Um, I was thinking that the light source would be up here in the top right hand corner. So my shadows are pretty much all on the left hand side of everything. Um, I tried to shade inside of these cylinder 
um, coral pieces so that they would give a more of a 3D effect. Even on my, um, my sea creatures here, I tried to shade heavy on the left hand side and left them a little bit lighter on the right hand side. Um, adding some bubbles, some little music notes, just fun little details to make your drawing that much more interesting is also a great idea. This is a long drawing. It'll take quite a bit of time to finish it all the way. So good luck, add your own details. Can't wait to see what you come up with.